probably the most frustrating and difficult thing about covering former President Donald Trump is the amount of misdirection and lies he can put into a single sentence. And I'm just going to give you an example from something that has gone viral on right-wing Twitter. They thought this was good. And I just want to show you the amount of misdirection and lies that Donald Trump can come up with in like 40 seconds. Took the American flag down. They were writing Hamas on the bell outside of Union Station. What does a Donald Trump do if he takes office to these people on the street? Rarely have we seen anything like this, and I think you should get a one-year jail sentence if you do anything to desecrate the American flag. But the officer, desperate and alone, was beaten, stomped, and hit with the flagpole. At one point, it looked like one of the protesters would impale him. Now, people will say, oh, it's unconstitutional. Those are stupid people. Those and of course, by stupid people, he means people who have read the Constitution. Those are stupid people that say that. We have to work in Congress to get a one-year jail sentence. When they're allowed to stomp on the flag and put lighter fluid on the flag and set it afire, and when you're allowed to do that, you get a one-year jail sentence and you'll never see it again. Now you might be saying, uh, that's a good idea. Maybe we should put people in jail for burning the flag. To that, I would say, well, that's dumb. That's really dumb. I might also be saying, where's he getting this idea? Why, does, why is he suddenly obsessed with this idea? Well, he's got some friends. He's got some people that he idolizes. He's got some people that he thinks are really great, and he's going to tell you about it. And all over the world, Putin and President Xi of China, all over the world, they're watching this. Kim Jong-un, he looks at us like we're a bunch of babies. They see that. That wouldn't happen in their country. So it would, it's impossible for that to happen in their country. Yeah, dude, that's why we don't live in North Korea. That's why we don't live in Russia. That's why you don't see people around the world desperate to move to North Korea and to Russia. It's because they don't have freedom. You're mad about freedom. And that's ironic coming from the party who puts freedom on every piece of apparel they possibly could find. That's ironic coming from the Patriot Party. That's ironic coming from the Constitutional Party. You hate the Constitution, you don't like patriotism, and you don't like freedom. You want a dictatorship. You want fascism. And, and everybody that's following you also wants fascism. And it would be nice if some of you were just honest about it. Like, we can work it out. But just be honest, you're all fascists.